subscribers and a special shout out to everybody else passing through those of you listening on youtube i salute to all my youtube viewer and listenership and for those of you listening on itunes google play or spotify you are now tuned into the lreib podcast welcome back all right so fellas <clears throat> these ladies want all the smoke they want all the smoke um, so I just came across this post on Facebook a short while ago, and it's looking like y'all fellas got to tighten up, because it's looking like, if not, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of new recruits to the to the LGBTQ community in 2019. going to be a lot of new lesbians added to the pot if y'all don't get it together, because it seems like women have been coming at us left and right lately. I don't know why all of a sudden, it seems like now more than ever, Women are really coming at us, really seem to be fed up with, apparently, a lot of their experiences. So we're going to get into it. All right, so this woman, um, who I follow on Facebook, <clears throat> came across this post, um, and I thought it was pretty interesting. So I decided to come through and talk to you about it. I'm going to read the post. For those of you who are watching on YouTube, you can see the... Um, you can see the picture on the screen there. I'm going to go ahead and read it along with you. For those of you who are listening on iTunes, Google Play, and Spotify, in the podcast format, um, what I'm going to do is, you should be seeing it now, I'm going to upload the, the, a picture of the post uh, so that you can see it in the icon art for this episode. All right, let's get into it. All right, so it says, Guys always talk about how they want a woman who is a writer, who's going to have their backs, who works hard, who cooks and cleans and takes care of their business, who's funny and gets along with their friends. They want a woman who is sexy as fuck, but also natural as fuck. They want their hair done, nails done, the nicest clothes and shoes, and so on and so forth. But what the fuck? Which is it? Do you want a woman who is polished 24-7, or do you want a real woman? Do you want a girl who is going to be so feminine, or do you want a rider? It doesn't work like that. Don't beg for someone who's down and then say they act too gangster. Someone to work hard and then say they don't have time for you. Um, someone that's down top of their hair and makeup. Someone that cook and clean and take care of the kids and complain they don't have time for you. Like yo, men have mad expectations but are so hypocritical and confusing. You want us to be happy and social but then accuse us of trying to flirt and having and not having respect. Like, yo, what do you want? Do you want a good cover woman who wears <laughs> who wears turtlenecks? Or do you want <clears throat> the sluts who you cheat on good women with? Because from a real woman's perspective, this is why we are losing hope for our men. We never feel like we are enough. We're constantly compared to the next one. Who wants to be compared to someone else? Shaking my fucking head. We are constantly criticized. We're too prude, too skanky, too nerdy, too stupid, too much makeup, too little makeup, too friendly, bad attitude, too cocky, too insecure, too bougie, too broke. Just love your women and stop looking at all the other women in the world and seeing them as better options. Stop being hypocritical. Praise your women and you'll see all the difference. All right. Actually... I'm going to get at my fellas a little bit, just a little bit, nothing too crazy, but I'm going to get at y'all women too, because I say it all the time on this platform. I can't say it enough. I know that typically when I get into this bag, women typically don't like it and a lot of them disagree with it, but you know, all is fair in this, in this game called love and war that we play all is fair. And it just, it is what it is. Now I will. I will. I apologize, fellas. Excuse me for one second, but I will stipulate to the fact that, yes, there is some truth here to to this post, to what this woman is saying. Um, you know, we men do want what we want from the women that we choose to deal with. And yes, we do want all the things on this list, 100%. And I'll even stipulate to the fact that that may not be a hundred percent fair to the women that we deal with. But at the same time, fella, and this is where I'm going to shoot my fella some bell. Ladies, and I'm going to try my best to impart some insight into you. 
for the purpose of what this this post was about. And I know that a lot of women are going to see it as maybe an excuse or maybe a cop out. And a lot of women are not going to want to believe that what I'm saying is true. But I promise you, 100% it is. Now, a lot of the trade secrets that I have shared recently on this on this platform, as it pertains to some of the insights of men and some of the inner uh, innermost thoughts and ideas that we share as it pertains to our women, maybe they are trade secrets. Maybe they are things that are meant to stay within the clubhouse of men. But we're at a critical mass right now in relationships. We're at a critical mass. Women seem to feel like and seem to think that there's no hope for relationships because of the nature of things. But you know what? As unfair as things seem like they are, as hard as things may seem like they are for women, I promise you the issues that are plaguing the dating game right now are more of a misunderstanding and a miscommunication than anything else. I promise. Of course. There are exceptions to everything. There are just some men out there who will just not appreciate you no matter what you do. There are some men out there who will just not do right just because they're not ready to be those type of types of men yet. They're not ready to settle down. They're not ready for commitment. And that is not a crime. That is not anything for men to be indicted about or be put on trial for. The only thing that is indictable as an offense is for the men who pretend that they are ready and then their actions show that they're not but ladies yeah i have to agree and have to stipulate because we are always going to be honest on this platform you have to agree that some of the games that you women play and some of the craziness that we men have to deal with and some of the indecisive and inconclusive and fucked up drama that comes along with some of you women some of you very same women who spew these sentiments. Not this woman, because I don't know her. Um, But I do see uh, uh, a decent number of women who reiterate these same sentiments that I just read that you see here in the picture of this post who are not exactly bringing to the table an an equal uh, dividend for what it is that they say that they're looking for or what they're being expected of. So let's do this first. The first thing I want to do for you women is I want I want y'all to understand something. And again, this is not a cop out. This is not an excuse. Men like variety. Now, it's not fair to expect. It's a, there's a long list of adjectives in this post. And I'll stipulate it's not fair for a man to expect all of these things from a single woman. However, What some of you women have to realize is that men want and look for a variety. These are all very different women. You know, typically a a woman who is, you know, very into fashion and very, you know, prideful of the way that she looks, takes care of her body, goes to the gym, eats right, um, you know, always has something nice to put on, presentable, knows how to switch it up, knows how to wear heels when heels are necessary, knows how to put on jeans or, you know what I'm saying, something tight but not too crazy that makes her look, as this woman put it, slutty. Um, there are women out there who, that's their repertoire. That's what they do, and they do that well. There are women who are good at home. They're good at taking care of home. They're good at handling the kids, holding down, you know, the household, keeping it clean, making sure dinner's always ready, and all these different things. There are women who are dope at doing that. And it's not to say that the women who are good at any of these things above women who are good at other things, it's not to say that they can't do all of the things on this list. And it's not to say that you can't do these things and hold down a job or career. It's just that men like variety. And the problem is, what you the trick that you women have to figure out, and again, not an excuse, I'm giving insight. If you women really want to understand men, if you're really that upset and that mad, and you want to get it and you want understanding, this is what I'm trying to impart on you. Wrap your 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 thought process around the thinking, around the mindset of men. We love variety, 
but we understand that we are expected to find one person and settle down with them. And so, unfair though it may seem, we say, okay, well, our compromise is, this is the mind of a man, our compromise is, well, all right, fine, we'll settle down with one woman, but we still want all the women that are out there in that one woman. So we want the woman who's going to dress right. We want the woman who's going to take care of her body. We want the woman who's going to be able to hold it down with the kids. We want the woman who's going to be able to take care of home. We want the woman who is still going to be able to hold down whatever job or career she does. Uh, we want the woman who's going to do all those things. We just want it all in one woman. But you know what? In all fairness, it's no different than the list of things that you women have. It's no different. You women have a long list of what I call... Uh, job description requirements or uh, or um, expectations that you have of men when you're in a relationship. And this is not about whether or not we live up to them. And it's not about whether or not you ladies can possibly live up to the things that this woman has listed in this post. It's just about what it simply is. For women, from a man's perspective, there are things that we expect. There's a job description that we have in our minds, Right. You look at dating as like a, a prolonged interview into a long-term relationship, right? You're making a decision, we're making a decision. You have a list of expectations, so do we. The natural course of things, as any uh, connection between two people progresses, you go down that list subconsciously, you go down that list organically as time moves, and you figure out which things you are okay with living without because nobody can fulfill everything on anyone's list. You go down which, first of all, it's about vibe. Then it's about what you feel most comfortable giving up and letting go of for how strong the connection is that you have with that person, male or female. And that's all it is. Now, if you women feel like you're going out of your way to do all the things on this list, because it's not every man. And, and y'all really, you women really need to understand this. Men are 100% as complex as women are. I don't know what bullshit magazine. I don't know what bullshit article. I don't know what bullshit expert told y'all however many years ago or, or wherever you pick this shit up that men are simple and there's only one to two or three things that we really need. No, men are as complex as women are. We are just complex in different ways. We are multifaceted creatures. And we are far more evolved than I believe you women care to pay attention to and recognize. It's just that we speak a different language. That's all. You know, you, you hear the term men are visual, women are emotional. It's similar to that. We just speak a different language. So it's all about communication and understanding. First of all, I don't recommend any woman be any of the things on this list for any man that she is not. Um, like these, these things fall in the category, in my opinion, of a wife's role. And if you're not into marriage, at least a committed relationship where at least you two live together. And have been together for an amount of time where there are actually things invested that you know that that person is there for the long term. Problem is, though, the, too many of you good women will present too many of these qualities too soon and too early in the relationship where that man feels like he doesn't have to do anything to earn it. At the end of the day, all, are, all adult relationships are is a reward system. That's all it is. It's work versus reward. It's what you can get for what you do and what you do for what you can get. And just like any business and just like anything in life and just like with even raising kids, men, just like women, will always try to get away with getting the most that they can out of a situation while doing the least that they have to do to get what they can out of that situation. Yo, that's just life. That's just a natural part of being a human. You know, the, you, you will always seek to take the path of least resistance. Men get a bad rap for it because it's, it's you, 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 too many of you women want to pretend like, yeah, I don't do the same thing. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Actually, you do it better than us because we're expected to do it. And because society tells us that we're expected to do the things that you women say that we, that you look for us to be and to do. 
the, 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 the microscope and the spotlight gets put more so on us than it does on you. But it's no different. We are all equally to blame for the shortcomings and for the pitfalls that we have in our relationships, especially when you don't take the time to have the conversation with who it is you're dealing with. So, ladies, I understand the complaints. 100% valid. Can never say that they're not. But it's all about who you're choosing. There are certain men who don't have no time for the woman who you know, always wants to go out and dress up and be social. There are certain men who want a nerdy woman. There are certain men who want a woman who's just going to take care of home and the kids and hold that down. And every once in a while, they want to see some of the other qualities. And there are men who want more of the things on this uh, kind of list of adjectives. And there are men who want less. It's about knowing who it is that you're dealing with. But you, you, y'all got to be honest with yourselves, ladies. You have to. I see it. I see it all the time. And it's usually for the men who don't deserve it. Like, I bring to my relationship 100% of what is expected. And it's all about the energy that I get in return that will determine what else I'm willing to invest in that relationship. I fully feel like I deserve every single adjective that's listed in this post. I have never gotten it from one woman. And, you know... Even being married for the past 11 years, I have never gotten the things, all of the things on this list. But the point is, men don't, even for the men who want every item, every adjective on this list to be lived out, for the woman that they're dealing with, right? Even if that woman is good enough, versatile enough, multifaceted enough to do all of these things, she's smart, she's funny, she knows how to be social without coming across as being flirty, um, she knows how to dress. She knows how to, you know, uh, be appealing to her man and keep that up and keep her body up and all these different things. We're not expecting you ladies to do it at like simultaneously 24 seven. We're not. I don't know where you women get this impression from. We want a woman who's able to do all of these things when those things are appropriate to do. We're no different than any we're no different than you women we're no different there are times and there are places and there are things when we want certain things and there are times when we want other things and again it's just about finding that person that you're with if you know that the guy that you're trying to deal with is into women who are all about their looks and you're a, a, a nerdy bookworm homebody type of woman I don't care how attracted you are to that man don't get involved with that man that's really the problem here what i really want to do is dispel so many of the stereotypes so many of the issues so many of the complaints that men on their side and women on their side have because it's not about men being fucked up it's not about men being confusing and being this and being that and it's not even about women necessarily not being able to be <clears throat> even though this is a side note this is this is a this is a a uh, uh, request to approach the bench. I got y'all fellas, ladies, just a few weeks ago on Halloween. Every third or fourth one of you women wanted to dress up as Wonder Woman for Halloween. Don't be putting on no Wonder Woman costume if you know you ain't Wonder Woman. Because Wonder Woman wouldn't have no issue with any of these things. She'd be able to handle all of that. Y'all want all the smoke. And y'all want to come for us and y'all want to complain. And that's cool. Because I'm going to take responsibility on behalf of my fellow men when I feel like we need to. And I'm going to hold them accountable when I feel like they need to be held accountable. But I'm also going to hold you women accountable when I feel like you women need to be held accountable. I got to do it. I have to do it. But let's get back to what we was talking about. So it's not about how much men want these things. Because we do. Of course, if we could find a woman that has all these things, shit. I, I don't know about, you. of course, there are going to be some men who are still going to cheat, still going to play games, still going to do whatever they do. I know I wouldn't. If I had someone who did all these things, shit, I'd be good. You know what I'm saying? But off that, what it really comes down to is we don't choose the people that we are most compatible with. And the problem is, and the reason for that is because usually, more often than not, and this is unfortunate, people that we are most compatible with 
just so happen to not be the people that we usually have that attraction for. And that's a real fact. That's a real fact. So you might find a man who is able to appreciate and praise and lift you up and value you. But that might not be the man that you, for some reason, have a crush on or have an attraction to or have a connection with. It just is what it is. But then you have to learn how to, as a woman, and, 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 and knowing what it is that you want, what you expect and what you look for, you have to learn to navigate through that. You have to learn the difference between an infatuation based on a, a, a vibe or a connection with a person that may share that same vibe or connection with you, but just may not be on the same level mentally may not be on the same level spiritually may not be on the same level emotionally may not have the same ideals may not have the same morals and may not have the same plan for the future as far as family as far as commitment and all those things as you have plus there's an age factor too you you have to be very tactful and and calculating when you enter into a potential relationship the first the first thing you women need to do and this is so real and i'm not even you know i'm really giving y'all information that if you really work with this information i promise you i promise you these types of complaints wouldn't have to happen because this woman is right but she's just looking at it the wrong way and i understand natural connection is natural connection you meet somebody you see them you're attracted to them there's a vibe there there's electricity there you can't help that but we, as, as, as a highly functioning, evolved society, we need to really start to understand the science behind things. A, a lot of attraction and a lot of connection, that's primal. That's instinctive. That's, that's instinctual. That's, that's about reproduction. That's about the survival of race, right? We have to start inviting in our higher functioning brains. To be able to look past as hard as it is as hard as it is we got to be able to look past initial attraction we got to be able to look past connection we got to be able to look past this the package of this person the thought or idea of this person looks nice but what do i really want and what is this person built and able to give me because different people have the capacity to give in different ways and different people operate and see things differently it doesn't make i want us to get away from the, the, the connotation of people being bad for us. Nobody is, is necessarily bad for us. They are just people who are more aligned with what it is we want and what we're trying to do moving forward with our lives. And that's just it. That's just it. Outside of the people who are like physically abusive and, and those types of things, outside of those extreme cases, nobody's really bad for you. It's just what you're looking for and are you willing to stick to what you're looking for? And when I say stick to what you're looking for, women, I don't mean have a long list of things like you want a guy that makes a certain amount of money, you want a guy that has a degree, you want a guy that, you know, has a certain kind of car or lives in a certain kind of neighborhood or what have you. I'm talking about the intangibles. If you know, that you want a guy who is going to give you X amount of attention. You need to, first of all, first and foremost, be deserving of that attention. Because I'm so sick of women who claim they want attention and who do things that they shouldn't be doing and say they did it for attention because they didn't feel they were getting attention. First of all, know what attention is. That's first of all. And know the difference between good attention and bad attention. And if you know what you want and that's what you want because you want it, have that conversation and be that specific. Be that specific about what it is you look for. If you expect a man to tell you you're pretty 20 times a day, be that specific. We really got to break this shit down all the way. And we really got to start acting like first graders and literally having conversations like, yo, I want somebody to tell me I'm pretty 20 times a day. I want somebody to... Give me 30 kisses a day. Be that literal. Because now we're at a point where this shit is so fucked up that nobody knows what the fuck they're doing anymore. Be brutally and completely transparent and blunt and, 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 and consistent and communicative about what it is you want and stick to that. And don't just want, be deserving of what it is you want. Be willing to be willing to give what is needed, 
in order to receive what, what is wanted. That's the way this shit works. It's a two-way street. We're not mind readers, women. We are not mind readers. You have to literally explain out exactly what it is you are looking for. And men, it's the same thing. Nobody can read minds. Say what the fuck you want. That way, in the beginning of the dating stage, in the beginning of us trying to figure out exactly what it is we're doing here and exactly what it is we want to do with our relationship, we know what it is we're getting into so that there is no confusion, so that nobody is asking themselves why they wasted their time six months later, 18 months later, three years later, when instead of thinking about marriage, you're starting over again. After a certain age, the purpose of dating is to find that person that you want to, to basically build a life with. That's the point of dating past a certain age. Like I'm going to say, before the age of 25, dating can really just be about dating and having fun and meeting different people and kind of getting a feel for what it is you even like. Because before the age of 25, 26, nobody really even knows what they like. I mean, you know what's enjoyable to you, but you don't really know what you like because you haven't really had enough life experiences, the most of us, prior to 26, to even really know what lifelong uh, commitment and lifelong planning and goals and, and, and relationship looks like. But after 26, 27, 28, you might get a two-year grace period. After 28... If you're dating, the purpose of that dating should be to find the person you want to build a life with, potentially a family with, potentially get married to. And those things will look different for different people. But you have to have the conversation. You have to. The same way you go to a job and have an interview, and the same way that employer explains that company, what, what the company's about, what their mission statement is, what the job description for which you are applying, what they expect from you as an employee if they hire you. The same way that person who's interviewing you before that interview is over will ask you, do you have any questions for me? And that's your opportunity to say what it is you're looking for in a company, what you're looking for in an employer. It's not just about how much money am I going to make? What the, what's the benefits? It's, 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 a whole, it's a whole list of other things. What is the work environment like? How are the people that I'm going to be working with and interacting with every day? What is my workstation? Where is it? Is it is it ventilated? Is it is is there temperature control? Is there these are things you might not ask, but these are things that you will think about. You maybe want to see the environment that you're going. To. Usually, when you interview somewhere, there's a tour. You meet people. There's there's a process involved so that you can clearly see as much as 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 possible before you're hired to work a job. You want every opportunity, and usually you're provided every opportunity to see what you will possibly be getting yourself into. And it's the same thing with a relationship, but we just don't approach it that way. Relationships, dating, is the only thing that we don't approach with the same deliberateness, the same focus, the same determination that we approach everything else in life with that we know we have to have the approach for in order for us to be successful whether it be school whether it be work you know whether it be even raising our children we don't approach dating the same way you've got to have a plan and even if you don't have a plan because nobody really knows of the twists and turns that are going to happen with different people that you're going to deal with men or women or women but you've got to have some kind of a plan at least as far as the approach goes i mean Fellas, women are feeling like <laughs> they're really ready to give up on men. And I feel like, and this is just my personal opinion, but I feel like we're already living in a time when more women are becoming lesbians. It seems like every fucking day. Every fucking day. I would hate to be in the dating pool right now because this shit is like a free-for-all. It's the wild, wild west. And I also understand the frustration of men. Ladies, Y'all have to, one, stop wasting all the good qualities on the men who are not about commitment, who are not ready for it, who are not be for it. Because even if verbally they, they're saying they are, there's so many. Communication is 85% nonverbal. Stop paying attention. This is the problem with a lot of you women. You're too audible. You're focused too much on, on what's verbally being said. Start paying attention to what's going on around you. Start paying attention to those signs and those cues that are not verbal. 
Because every single man, good or bad intentions, every single man will tell you exactly what it is that they're about and exactly what it is that they're looking for, even if they won't say it verbally. You women just have to be tuned into it. That's all. It's about being tuned into each other. No, see, this is the problem. Connection is easy to make. I mean, that that can happen within minutes. A, A bond can happen within minutes, within hours, within days, within weeks. Relationship is about work. That takes time because relationship is about sustaining a bond. Anyone can create a bond. Anyone can build a bond. Anyone can spark a connection. But relationship entails sustaining that connection over time and keeping that connection strong. And that's what we all fuck up. That's what we all struggle with. So when I look out at all of these different adjectives for what this woman is feeling frustrated over, for what she believes that guys are doing to confuse women, yes, on one level it's true, but on another level, No, it's how you're looking at it and it's how you're approaching it. And it's the guys that you're choosing. I'm sorry, but the sad truth is that usually the things that are most appealing to your eyes are usually not the things that are best beneficial to your sight. I'm going to say that again because, and I don't want nobody to take that shit. That's an original off the top. Don't, don't, Don't take that shit. But usually, what is most appealing to your eyes, visually, is not what's most appe- is not what's most beneficial to your sight. Sight pertains to vision. Vision is about seeing the whole picture, what's really there. I mean, you can see anything with your eyes, but that's just topical. That's just surface, and that's what attraction is for the most part. And we have to learn how to start seeing past that. This shit's deeper than just a post. That's why I brought it to this platform. Because, for one, I refuse. Because you women have been getting increasingly bold lately with your attacks on us men. And I know that I don't fit into any of these categories, into any of the the, the rants that I've been seeing women going on lately. But, yeah, I'm the person who capes for my fellow men. Hey, it is what it is. Whether they deserve it or not, it's what I do. And I'm doing it because there's a clear misunderstanding here. It's clear. And you women have to stop attacking men. And I know that you're speaking just about the men that you've dealt with. I get that. But you've got to start accepting blame. I said this in a, in a, in a blog that I did just the other day. And talking about black women. I mean black men who are accused of abandoning black women for women outside the race. While there is truth to that. Mechanically, while there's truth to that, literally, figuratively, there's other shit going on. Behind the scenes, there's other shit going on. And we men are equally as frustrated with you women. We're equally as frustrated. And please don't believe for a second, ladies, that we aren't. Because we are. So, it's about having a conversation. Maybe we need to rethink this whole thing. Start over from scratch and figure this shit out. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. I do fuck with this post because I'm about honesty, and this is clearly a very honest and raw uh, kind of venting session that this woman went on in a super long post. And I do feel it on some level. And fellas, I do want y'all to do better. But ladies, y'all have to do better too. Stop expecting from, from the wrong men what you can get from the right men. And it's not about good or bad. It's not about good man, bad man. It's about, you know, our as a man, our only responsibilities are if we have children to be the father that we should be to our children. And, uh, you know, if we are if we are husbands, if we are if we do have a family to be protectors of our families and provide for our families. Those are our only three most basic responsibilities. Everything else is optional. And if you want those optional things, you have to seek out those optional things from the people, men or women, who are willing, and not just willing, but able and capable of giving to you. Not everybody is capable of giving to you everything that you want. I had to learn it the hard way, but it's too late for me. And because it's too late for me, 
I have to reach back and make sure that everybody else, and that's what this, that's another part of the reason why this platform is here. I feel like it's too late for me. But for everybody else, I, 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 if, 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 if I could slow time down for you, I can't stress enough. That if you are just meeting someone, if you are in the early stages of a relationship, before kids are involved, before marriage, before anything overcomplicates your situation, please stop what the fuck you're doing and have a discussion, have a conversation. Because you can get a lot of that shit out the way just by having a conversation. Ask that man what it is you're looking for. What do you want from me? What do you expect of me? And if that man is halfway decent, He'll tell you. And that's the first uh, victory in that battle. If that man says, I don't know. If anybody says, I don't know. They're not willing to have the conversation or the discussion with you. Then you need to slow it up. You need to pump the brakes a few times. Because first of all, in order to have a conversation with someone about who they are and what they want. They have to know the answer. If they don't know, then you can't have that conversation. And if you can't have that conversation, you should not be moving forward with that person. You won't even get to the point of frustration about all these things. Because now that you know to this woman, and, and if she's watching and listening to this, um, to this blog, if you know that these are the things that men are, are, are looking for, if you know that these are the things that are so confusing to you about men, Find in this list of adjectives the things that are most related to you, the things that are your strong points, the things that you do naturally, the things that you are into. And now look for the man who those things are most important to. Those things that you do naturally, those things that you're into, not the things that you try to do to keep a man or to get a man, the things that you know you already do naturally well. Maybe your thing is taking care of the home and the kids well, and you're, you know, smart, and you're into book shit and all of that. Or maybe you're into the fashion thing, you're into looking good and working out 24-7. So look for the man who is equally into that type of thing. Because those are the people you're going to mesh well with. Let's get away from the whole opposites attract shit. That shit is some kind of weird, fucked up, North Pole, South Pole bullshit, fairy tale shit that somebody spewed out there a long time ago. And then people just ran with it. Nah, in order to be the best fit for someone in a relationship, your interests have to align. Your your you have to have the same overall outlook on life. You have to have the same things in common. Yeah, some things should be different. Personality wise, maybe you want certain things to be different. But as far as core values, you need to link with a person who has similar core values or else you're already behind in the game and you may never catch up. So, to sum up, I feel this post. Women, I apologize that this is how y'all feel. Fellas, as hard as you possibly can, for the person that you care about, for the person that you're with, try to do better with these things. But fellas, please don't ever don't ever put too much energy. Don't ever put too much devotion. Don't ever put too much time or investment into any woman who's not deserving of that. Because I've made that mistake throughout my life too many times. And I don't want, especially the younger fellas coming up, right? At 35, take it from me. If you are, if you are under the age of 28, please do not make the same mistake that too many of us good men have made. Because all women will say they deserve a good man. All women will say they deserve a, a positive attention and affirmation and reassurance and security and all these different things. But please don't ever waste those qualities on a woman who does not deserve it. Because you can't win with those types of women. Because those types of women, doesn't matter if you give them those things uh, 100 days out of the year. That 101st day that you don't, they're going to act like as if you never did. And those are the types of women who will lie and who will cheat and who will play games and who will blame you for it. So do not ever, 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 ever invest any type of quality that you possess that is good 
to any woman who doesn't deserve it. First find out if she deserves it, and if and only if she does, then yes, I agree 100% with this woman uh, who posted this on Facebook. Try not to be confusing. Try not to be hypocritical. Whatever you expect or want from that woman, be open and honest about it. Be clear and concise about it. Be deliberate about it. And also be willing to provide that which you expect. Bring to the table what you plan to take from the table. But only, fellas, I repeat this shit, I can't say it enough. Only if she deserves it. And women, same thing. Stop being housewife material for a man who is who is treating you like a girlfriend or a part-time situation. That's what we need to stop doing on both sides. We both have responsibility here. We both have uh, culpability here. Both of us, all of us, men and women. So let's stop with the gender bashing. I understand the, 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 the rants. I understand the, the venting. That's welcome. We can do this because this opens up conversation. But let's not make it about men ain't shit. Let's not make it about women ain't shit. Because individually, we all have issues with us. Individually, we all have our baggage. Individually, we all have our hang-ups and our gripes with different things in life. So it's just about coming together with the people who have similar things, similar baggage, right? At a certain age, you realize that you're not going to find a person who doesn't have baggage. At a certain age, you realize the point is to find someone whose baggage matches your own. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my blog, share my channel, share this platform on your social media accounts. Um, I'm trying to grow this community because things like this that we discuss affects all of us in our everyday relationships. And we can all benefit from this type of shit. I don't have the answers, but I believe that collectively we can all help each other get to a better place in life and love and relationships and everything else will fall in line. If you listen to my content and you think I talk a lot of shit, you're 100% correct. I talk a lot of shit because I'm passionate about the shit that I talk about. If you listen to my content and you believe I'm overly opinionated, yes, you're 100% correct. I am. I'm overly opinionated, but we all have opinions. The difference between my opinions and the opinions of a lot of other people I see out here is that I actively try to use my opinions to affect positive change. Because I'm a realist. At the end of the day, I see shit for what it is, and I try to approach every situation in a commonsensical way. Succeed or fail. That's always my attempt and my intentions are always good because my logic, no matter if you agree with what I say, you disagree, no matter if you think I'm full of shit, no matter if you think I'm offensive, my logic, the principle, the underlying logic behind anything that, that I say, anything that, that, that provokes a thought or an idea that I turn into words, the logic behind it, you can't deny it. You can't debate it. It's undeniable. And that logic is based on three principles. For the most part, there are only three things that separate us. Oceans, borders, and culture. And outside of those few things, and as long as Donald Trump don't start putting up some more fucking borders, outside of those three things, we are all just a part of one human race trying to find the best way to carve out a life for ourselves and the people we care about. I don't pretend to know everything. I just know what I know. Let me know what y'all think about this one, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace and love.